Hi everyone, welcome to the mid-season finale of season 3 of the EITF project. In this episode, we have our immigration lawyer Manjanath Gokhare back on the show. If you remember, we had him on for a special episode on the EITF project after season 1 to discuss student visas and H-1B visas and the effect of layoffs on these visas. We will link the episode for you. This is a part 2 to that episode. In this episode, we discuss the complexities of the H-1B visa process, the pathways to obtaining a green card, and the challenges posed by labor certification and layoffs. Within the first three years of your H-1B, because like I explained, it takes two years to file the one, right? So, how to to get the perm approval? One year to file, one year to receive an approval. So, you don't want to wait until the fifth year of your H-1B to start the perm. Because right. you will lose the, the ability to extend your H-1B beyond six years. So right. we get a lot of those cases where people come to me with one year left on H-1B, one and a half years left on H-1B. And they say, can we do something here to keep this employee in the U.S.? We also explore the potential of national interest waivers as an alternative route for immigration, recent updates from USCIS, and the importance of timely action for H-1B visa holders. Finally, we discuss the impact of the upcoming changing government to visa holders in the U.S. Good letter. That really strengthens the case. Uh, so you, we have done NIW cases where people are working in tech and people are working in, in the industry and they're working in cutting edge areas like AI, machine learning and whatnot. And so long as there is proper documentation of the work being done, that is of a high quality, the foreign national is, you know, well position to work in that area and there are reference letters from other people in the field, it's it's going to work out. This is a very important episode with a lot of information. So tune in next week and catch the episode on our social media platforms.